Hey everybody, what's happening? Andy Irvine here. I'm here in Mark Neukirch in Germany at the new uh, Warwick reception area. And in this area that they've just uh, completed, you'll see there's about a hundred beautiful custom shop bases that will blow your mind. We have some dolphins. Beautiful, beautiful custom shop dolphins. Custom shop thumb bases. These are all instruments that have been built here in the custom shop. And now they've just completed this beautiful new reception area where you can come and see all these instruments and play all these instruments. So if you're a bass player and you love Warwick like I love Warwick, this is the uh, Shangri-La, <laughs> if you will, of exquisite Warwick basses. And this is just, just a few of them. So you've got some affinities, streamers, thumb basses, Jazzman, streamer LXs, streamer stage two, streamer stage one. They're all here. Streamer LX, thumb bass, streamer double buck, 10 string, streamer stage one, streamer stage one, six string, with a beautiful metallic finish, vampire, Jack Bruce. Look at this thing. Metallic Infinity. <laughs> yeah. So this entire area is just brand new. It's a big giant hunk of burl. So you've seen bases that have a burl top on them. That's what the wood grows. That's what it looks like when it's growing. And that's how it gets that beautiful amazing figure to it. That's an actual chunk of a burl tree. Beautiful Triumph base. I love the Triumph. I have one. A couple little mini Warwicks. Mini thumb and a mini streamer. Over on this wall, more Warwick bases. Some from the Alien series. Some of the limited edition instruments. And up here, more. Beautiful Framus guitar. Ooh la la. Oh, here's some beautiful Fremis guitars. Beautiful jazz guitars. So, that's a pretty ridiculous and amazing wall of beautiful custom shop Warwick bases. Through that door right over there is Warwick production. Ta-da! This is the final testing area. When instruments are in their final stages of completion, this is where they come for their final assembly. Several instruments here. 
various different stages. This is where the techs are putting uh, final touches on instruments. Hello. Hello. This looks like a Bootsy Collins signature. Yes. Nearing completion. Uh, excuse my excuse me, my English is not the, the best. Oh, it's okay. We're just having a look around. Carry on. Rock on. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, wait a minute. Look at that face. That face looks familiar. Oh, that's my base. <laughs> my base is getting a little TLC. I brought it with me, and the nice techs are here. Giving my base a little, little love. Looks like a famous guitar. Having some electronics installed. Notice how they use this nice protective uh, thing in this vacuum. This is sucking away any debris as he's working and keeping the um, guitar perfectly safe so that it comes to the customer perfect without any possible chance of any scratches or anything like that. This is the, this is the man, the last man standing. This is the guy that, it, he's the last one to check out all the instruments and uh, before they leave the custom shop and he's put looks like he's putting the finishing touches on a vampire a beautiful blue vampire base yeah. ooh la la just back from the photo studio ah quilted top five string six oh six string excuse me Six string vampire. Wow. It's a nice base. So these are all instruments that have passed final inspection. And you see they have their user kits with them and they're ready to be put into their cases and sent to their new homes to their new customers. All completed. Final testing done and ready to go to their new homes. Warwick and Framus instruments, obviously. Pretty rad. Hello, Angel Base. Thanks for giving my Angel Base some love. Rusty double buck Corvette. Bunch of them. So this is just one small part of production. Over here, we have the paint shop. Where we do the UV lacquering and applying finishes, doing sanding. We come into this area. We have installation, CNC, bunch of thumb NTs, beginning stages. instrument manufacturing right here, a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, unlike any other in the world. A bunch of necks. You hear a little bit of noise in the background, but it's really uh, a low degree of noise in this work environment. It's not as noisy as you might think. These are necks and glue presses. the size of these glue presses. Laminated necks in there. Necks. Cool. 
cool thing about these necks is every one, in order to save and, and so there's not any waste, they get two necks out of every glue, uh, out of every lamination. So this right here is actually going to be two necks. So it cuts down on waste. More, uh, these are presses for uh, putting the fingerboards, applying the fingerboard to the neck. New presses. The giant sanding machine. This gentleman's putting the what will become bodies into this plane with the sanding machine. See the giant sandpaper rolls up there? This is another blue press area where the bodies are in presses. The blanks that will become bodies. Looks like some Bubinga Pomelo. Various different woods and blue presses that will become bodies. Same thing here. All this wood, you see it has the blue mark on it that goes through both pieces. That means it's been tested and the wood inspector tested to make sure that these two pieces of wood are compatible in both grain and finish for beauty and also um, for uh, tested for um, moisture, humidity content, so they're perfect and ready to go into production. This is the area where all the wood is humidity tested. Plain, power stacker. So there's just a little, a little glimpse of Warwick production. And you get an idea of how amazing this manufacturing facility is. Here's the wall of fame. All the different artists from around the world that have come here and visited the factory. Moving down this end of things. More glue presses. Super high tech glue presses. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad on you. This is the genius that programs all the CNC machines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cool job. He gets to program all the machines that do all the cutting in this, uh, this phase of the operation is where they do all the programming and program the, the machines to, do, uh, to cut the different instruments in, in different ways. Coming back in here, we're back kind of where we started. Hello. Now we're back in the reception area. Actually, this is kind of the showroom area. Ooh, aliens. Ooh, la la. Now this is actually officially the brand new reception area. Hey, look at that guy. Lee Sklar. Most recorded bass guitar player of all time. So this is the brand new reception area. Just completed. All the walls are featured different artists. There's Divinity, beautiful Divinity. My man, TM Stevens. Look at this. 
Mike Inez, Jonas Helborg, Stevie Stevens, the great Steve Bailey, your friend and mine with his new signature series basses. And here's some bases from the from the past throughout the 30 years. This year Warwick celebrates 30 years since uh, 1982. And some of these bases here are, are both uh, some of the first bases and some really special ones that have been created over the years. Here we have double necks, a double neck dolphin. You don't see that every day. You too, Adam Clayton. And Robert Trujillo, Metallica. Here we have some of the old ones, some of the early year um, Warwick bases, some of the first ones. Some juicy old ones in here that date way back to the beginning. Jack Bruce, a man peanut, John B. Williams, total sweetheart, wonderful bass player, and Jackie from the iconic uh, German band Silly. So here you go, boom, Warwick. Beautiful brand new reception area tour. A little bit about production. We hope that you'll come to the 30th anniversary celebration. Take part in a big celebration that Warwick's having, commemorating 30 years, building some amazing, amazing bases. Uh. Party people, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace.